it's Rebecca here from Precious Pages Papercraft and today I'm designing a layout for Hip Kit Club. I'm working with the gorgeous May 2022 kits and this month the kits are a mix of Hip Kit exclusive products and other branded manufacturers. So they've got lots of American craft products in the kits this month. There's a little bit of Echo Park um, and there's also some Pink Fresh Studio Alphas in the main kit. So um, nice mix this month. It uh, all works perfectly together as always. And our weekly challenge this week is to create a feature using circles. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. So apologies for the lighting in this video, it's that time of year where um, my little boy goes to bed and I sit down at my desk in the evening and it's just as the sun's going down so um, it shines right through into my craft room so apologies for the lighting. Um, but I've started off my layout with a circle of one of the Hip Kit exclusive patterned papers. And it's a very pink paper um, and it's gorgeous, loads of florals on it and I'm using it today with a photo of myself and my little boy and I'm wearing a pink top in the photo and my little boy's got orange giraffes on it. Um, so I thought the, the photo worked really nicely with the colours in this paper. And I want to do it as a challenge suggests, I want to make a feature using this circle. So rather than just having it as is on the background, um, I'm going to jazz it up a bit and do something with it. So I've drawn around it on my background first, so I know where it's going to sit in the centre. And then I've cut it into strips. Um, and I did it by eye, I didn't measure them or anything, I've just tried to get them as equal as possible. And then I've taken literally a millimetre or two off of one edge of each strip. Um, and now I'm distressing those edges, so just the internal edges where I've cut, the actual curved outer edge, I'm leaving it um, like a nice clean cut. But those internal bits, I'm roughing them up with an edge distressor. And where I'm doing that, and I've taken a couple of millimetres off of each strip, when I piece them back together on my background within that circle I've drawn around, it will leave a nice amount of white space in between each strip. So it breaks up that busy patterned paper and it gives me a little bit of white space, which I like. Um, and it just makes it a bit more interesting rather than just having a circle on my background. I've sort of jazzed it up a bit and um, I sort of made something special of it. So I've, I feel like I've made a feature of it rather than just having a circle for the sake of having a circle. And I really love the effect that it gives, and especially with the distressed edges, it brings in lots of texture to the page, which I love. So when it comes to piecing the circle back together, I've stuck the top and bottom sections in first because obviously I know where they're going to sit. And then I'm just kind of lining up those middle bits. Um, so I don't, didn't know how much gap to leave between each one because you know, I'd taken a little bit off. So by doing the outer two first, um, it just helps me line up those inner bits. And then I'm sticking those down flat using just double-sided tape. And I love how that looks. Reminds me of like a, a Venetian blind, I think it is. Um, you get like the wooden slats. It's just really pretty. Um, so I've got that on my background now and I'm gonna build my layout on top of this. So I've already been through the various kits and pulled out some bits and pieces that I think I'd like to use on this layout. I've got a couple of those wood veneer circular frames, um, obviously the theme for the challenge is using circles, so those worked perfectly. Those are from the May main kit and I've taken the sticky backing off of them so it means I can move them around a bit um, until I'm happy with the placement. I've also got some lovely floral die cuts. Those are from the embellishment kit and they're again a hip kit exclusive and I think they're gorgeous. Lots of lovely colours in those. And I've pulled out some of the ones that have a, um, a kind of white frame or white border on them and some that haven't. So I've got two larger ones going diagonally through my photo and then just a couple of the smaller singular um, flowers. I'm just going to pop on top and layer and cluster those up. We also get a pack of really lovely black and white fabric butterflies in the main kit. I think there's 28 in there in total. Um, and I used them on my last layer and probably on the one before that, to be honest. Um, I really love them. But for this layer, I felt like doing something slightly different with them. So they've come with a white border around the edge. So it's got a lovely kind of curved line to the design. I actually wanted them to look a little bit more pointed for this layer. So I've cut that white border off and I've got a pair of... Um, I think they're by EK Success or Easy Success, something like that. My cutter B scissors, the yellow and black ones that so many of us have got. And they're super sharp and they go through those butterflies really easily. Um, so it's really easy to just trim the white border off of those. And it gives them a completely different look. So if you want to kind of have 
um, like various looks with them. You could pop some on the page that you've trimmed and some that you haven't, make some different sizes as well. So just um, a different way to use them. So for today I've trimmed that border off and then I've just pulled in lots of different bits. So I've got the die cut pack from the main kit, that floral pack from the embellishment kit that I've used. And we've got that gorgeous stripy tag there. And um, that's from one of those die cut packs. I'm just gonna have that peeping out down the bottom behind my photo. And I will eventually find some embroidery floss to thread through the hole as well. I'm not a fan of naked tags. I feel like I must have some string or thread of some sort going through them. Um, personal choice, but just for me, I like to have something going through my tags. So I'm gonna pull out some thread in a bit. Um, but I've kind of figured out where I want most things to go and as always I've piled it on the layout and now I've got to try and get it all stuck down. So I'm just working piece by piece trying to get the bigger things stuck down first and then I can build upon those. I'm adding a couple of layers of patterned paper behind my photo. I think one's actually a cardstock, one of the coloured cardstocks from the cardstock kit. Uh, I think it's Heather, it's like a nice sort of minty colour almost. Um, so I've added a layer of that and then a layer of brightly coloured paper. It's that one with all the sort of triangles or diamonds on, again, hip kit exclusive. Um, so I've got a couple of layers of that and I've distressed the edges as well so that it's consistent with that circle in the background. And where my wood veneer frames obviously raise themselves up off the background, um, it means my photo needs raising up in between as well. So I've just popped some craft foam on my background there. You just saw the black foam. Um, and now my photo sits nice and flat and it's not going to dip or sag in the middle or anything. And then I'm just going to work my way around really getting things stuck down. So I like to use foam pads behind a lot of my floral embellishments. It just gives them a bit of dimension and texture and raises them off the page a bit and kind of you can then curl the edges up. Um, it just gives them a nice look. So the bits obviously that stick under my photo I've just used double sided tape. And then the bits that are outer I'm using the foam pads. I've got a couple of uh, foam stickers here as well from the embellishment kit. I've got a little coffee cup there. Um, the photo's got nothing to do with coffee really, but I really loved that coffee cup and the colours worked really well with my layout, so um, that's found a place on there. And then my title obviously is Smile and that's another one of those foam stickers and the colours again worked really well. So I'm going to use that as my title and have it kind of down the bottom there under my photo. And I'm just having a play now. Um, like I said, I've pulled out loads of bits that I thought I might use. Didn't necessarily intend on using all of them, um, but they're so beautiful I end up shoving most of them on the page. I uh, just don't know when to stop sometimes. And I don't use all of them, but I am trying to find a place for a few more little bits. And I noticed there that that small old wood veneer frame at the bottom had got completely covered by one of the florals. So I just had to try and pull it up and I've moved it out a bit so that you can see it again. And then I've stuck my butterflies down with glossy accents and I've just stuck the bodies down, down the centre um, and I've left the wings flapping free and that's something I always do with butterflies, whether they be fabric like this or die cuts or vellum, I always just stick um, a bit of glossy accents down the body and then I can leave the wings flapping and it makes them look so much more realistic, almost like they've landed on the page and I love the look of that. Um, so that is what I always do with my butterflies. And then I've pulled that gorgeous floral die cut pack out again. Um, again, these are hip kit exclusives. And I just wanted to bring in a bit more pink over to the left. It was looking a bit orange. I had a couple of orange flowers. Um, so I just bought a lovely pink one. And just because the other flowers that I'd used didn't have a white border, I've just trimmed the white border off of that one. And then I've added a couple more flowers over to the right of my title there just to extend the design over a bit more. At the moment it was just looking like my title was just plonked there with that tag without much thought. So I wanted a tiny little cluster down the bottom there but nothing too big. So now I'm going through the sticker book that comes in I believe the Pocket Life kit. Um, this is, I think, Jen Hadfield's collection, and I love, love, love these foiled gold um, floral and kind of flower and leaf stickers. So I do add on a couple here. Um, I only end up using one in the end. The one I've put on the left, it's st stuck to the white cardstock, and it just felt like it was taking away from the circular edge, like the curved edge of that side of the page. So I do end up removing that one, but I do keep the other one on that I've popped on the right-hand side. You'll see a bit better in the close-ups. 
And here I am coming in now with some twine. Um, I had my embroidery flosses and my twines out trying to decide what to use. And in the end, I've gone for a pink and white striped baker's twine because it works really well with the colour of the shirt I'm wearing in the photo. And we've also got these gorgeous puffy heart stickers. These are from the Pocket Life kit. And again, Jen Hadfield. Uh, and I think these are gorgeous. So I'm just picking three or four that match with my colour scheme and adding those um, just in little areas around my photo and my clusters. And that is me done for today. So here's the final layout. I've obviously got some close-ups coming up for you. But I think I've used quite a bit on this page. I've used the main kit. I've used some bits from the embellishment kit and the pocket life kit and the cardstock kit. So um, quite a lot used and I absolutely adore how it's turned out. So I hope you've enjoyed it and it's given you some inspiration. If you'd like to join in with our weekly challenge, just create a, a layout using circles as a feature and add it to the thread that will be added in our Hip Kit Club group on Facebook. That's a bit of a mouthful. <laughs> um, but thanks again for joining me. I'll leave some links in the description box below for you. So there'll be links to our kits, links to our Facebook group and also our list of benefits of being a hip kit subscriber as well because there's quite a few benefits. But thanks again for joining me and I shall see you next time.